Virgo, April 2023. Hello, beautiful soul. I hope you're well. What's the energy? What's the vibe for Virgo for April 2023? Virgo. Please like the video, Virgo. It helps other Virgos to find us. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We have journey in the reverse and we have yin yang in the reverse. Virgo, the overall energy right now is something is, something has stopped in its tracks, right? Some kind of journey that you were on has come to a halt temporarily. Why? Because some action is needed. Okay. And it's got a lot to do with you leaving your comfort zone. Okay, we keep it real over here. Tarot is for your highest good. It's to actually elevate you, right? And make sure that we're living our best lives. So here's the real. You need to leave your comfort zone in some way. It's gonna be different for everyone. You will know what, what that means for you. It could be to do with walking away from a person, a situation, a place. Okay, we'll dive deeper in with the tarot. But that's the overall energy, Virgo. They're wanting you to take action this month on something around your personal journey. Interesting. Let's dive straight in with the tarot. Very intrigued. Hmm. Virgo. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, okay. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, Virgo. As I said, something has stopped in its track, something not growing, some kind of delay, right? Again, why? There's an opportunity, Virgo. There's an opportunity around you that they're wanting you to seize. It's like, Whatever this is, it's not something that you can passively go through. You have to take action and seize the opportunity. They're wanting you to go for it, is what I'm hearing. Go for it. Go after it. Seize the moment. Seize the opportunity. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. There's something that I feel on an, on an emotional level you want to go for. And for whatever reason, you're holding back. They're, not, they're wanting you to, to stop doing that, Virgo, and go for it. Some of you may be trying to kind of avoid and, and escape <laughs> from whatever this is, and they're saying, uh uh, no bueno, because you know why? It keeps you like this. It's like when you know that you're destined for greater things, or when you know that you have this potential inside you, or there's something you're capable of doing, or that you're meant to do, and you don't go after it, and you try to run from it, it, you can't run from it <laughs> in your mind. It will haunt you, right? It will, it will keep pestering you until you listen and take that action. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you can't stay here, Virgo. They don't. They're saying don't stay. Don't keep yourself stuck. Don't keep yourself trapped. I'm definitely getting this oval energy of you kind of just staying still. Some of you trying to escape whatever this is and, and forget about it and maybe even deceive yourself into thinking, ah, I don't even want it. You do. <laughs> this could have something to do with your 
childhood. This card for me always talks about like the subconscious, like right? the programming that we received as children. It's something, the blockage is coming from there. Okay, so as I say in every video, meditate, meditate, meditate. That is how you get past the mind into that subconscious realm to change, to, to make real change. Some of you may have gone through a painful ending lately and that's what's got you in this space. That's fine. Take the time to heal. You know, we all have our own timeline and our own way of processing things. But don't stay there too long, Virgo, okay? Because your personal fulfillment is at stake here. Okay, you need to get back to your, what makes you truly happy? What makes you feel fulfilled each day? What lights you up? What makes you feel passionate and happy to be alive, right? You deserve it, Virgo. You deserve to give that to yourself. Okay. What else, please, for Virgo? Thank you. Okay, for some of you, this could be talking about something at home something around your home life may have put you in this state or cancelled plans maybe a can like there was going to be a reunion or a coming together that's now been postponed or cancelled maybe you're the one postponing it or cancelling it or it's out of your control but there's some kind of delay here could be you refusing to make a decision about something hmm or you may just feel like you just needed this time, right? So just pause. You've needed a little break <laughs> from life. You've just wanted to kind of be and just exist. And as I said, that's fine. You need the time to heal. But then now this month, April for you, is all about making movement again. Even if it's baby steps. One baby step is better than staying still, right? Start to move towards your happiness is what I'm hearing. Virgo. Thank you. Mm. You may have someone who's trying to help you, Virgo. This could be in the form of just advice or whatever the case may be. And you, I feel like you, it's almost that energy of biting the hand that feeds you. It's like someone's just trying to help you. Don't push them away. Only take what resonates, right? But that's what I'm hearing. For others of you, this could be, you know, what's got you in the state could be money troubles, right? Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with bills, debts, whatever. But there is help available to you. Yeah, here you are, the bottom of the deck, Virgo. As I'm saying that, this is definitely talking about someone trying to help you. Okay, the hermit in reverse. Don't isolate yourself. Don't withdraw and don't um, push away those who are trying to help you. Yeah. Accept help, Virgo. You're not alone. There's help available to you. I feel like one specific person actually wants to help you. Could be a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. What else for Virgo? What's the good stuff coming towards Virgo? April 2023. Thank you. <clears throat> Listen to your intuition, Virgo. As I said, meditate. Okay, we have the high priestess in the reverse. They're really wanting you to, to meditate and connect to your higher self, connect to your intuition and get into an emotionally balanced place again. Yeah, get step back into the driver's seat of your life, Virgo. It's time to take charge. It's time to step into that all-powerful being that you know you are. You know you're destined for greatness. You know you're destined for more. Step into it. Don't close your mind off to opportunities. Stay open-minded. Believe in yourself and know that you can take charge of your life. Yeah, believe. just as I said that, believe in yourself, Virgo. You may be feeling a lack of motivation right now or just a little bit of self-doubt creeping in. Again, the message keeps coming through. Meditate rest when you need to but make make it productive rest as in when you're resting think about your goals think about what you want for yourself use your affirmations do your visualizations right it's time to put some energy and some action into your goals your what do you want to manifest what do you want to grow in your life look we do have new opportunities coming towards you like i said in the beginning they're wanting you to seize those opportunities do you know what i'm getting it's like 
they're wanting you to prime yourself Virgo you have some amazing opportunity coming in towards you and this whole reading is trying to say get ready they want you when this opportunity comes they want you to be ready to receive it and right now in this energy you wouldn't be so it's time to prime yourself get your get your mind and your emotions and your vibration ready so when this opportunity comes you don't miss it is what i'm getting that's exciting some kind of new opportunity coming in it could be work related work career financial business it doesn't have to be it could be it's going to be different for everyone right it could even be love but whatever it is you need to be ready for it so come on come on let's believe in ourselves let's start focusing on our goals again where our attention goes is where our energy goes right let's focus on the good stuff let's focus on what we want and let's start taking action towards getting there yeah Woo. yep we have the fall in reverse don't be afraid to take a leap of faith Virgo don't hold yourself back it's the same energy that keeps coming out don't fear the unknown the unknown is a beautiful place Virgo because all possibilities exist there it's the number zero infinite possibilities a clean fresh canvas for you to build on again where do you want to invest your energy what do you want to grow in your life hello look at this the ten of pentacles long-term stability security everything falling into place this is what they're wanting you to focus on virgo focus on that again through meditation when you're resting when you have those quiet moments use them to visualize and to focus on what you want to manifest hello yes that is what april is about for you virgo okay manifesting what do you want to manifest it's time it's time to grow it's time to leave your comfort zone it's time to walk away from things that don't serve you anymore don't be afraid to walk away into the unknown you have the power within you virgo this is your card you are the magician the alchemist you can manifest anything you want you just have to be in the right mindset for it yeah i love that let's get your sea oracle messages virgo virgo please don't forget to like the video virgo if this is helping you it really helps the channel virgo virgo We have resilient. May your soul weather the storms. Like I said, Virgo, you have what it takes. Don't allow unfortunate circumstances to discourage you. Don't let anything discourage you. You are resilient. Tap into your strength. You can get through anything. It all starts in your mind. As long as your mind is right, nothing can sway you. Nothing can pull you off of your path. Accept. May you receive what is as it comes. Like I said, don't fear the unknown. Get into a space where you're in the present moment, not thinking about the past, not thinking to, about the future, manifesting from the now. Think about your future in terms of what you want to manifest, but not living there, yearning for it, feeling lack because, because it's not here yet and letting it discourage you. No, get into a space where you're ready to receive whatever comes to you. Focus on... What I want to say is instead of focusing on a specific goal, focus on the feeling. How will you feel if you were to manifest this thing? And then visualize that, manifest that and leave the how and the what to the universe, if that makes sense. We have believe. 
May the seed deepen your faith. Believe in yourself, Virgo. Believe in God, in the universe. Believe that you have help available to you. All your work is the manifesting, the visualization, the believing. And then be ready to receive. Keep the faith, Virgo. Look, bottom of the deck, the exact same card. Where is it? Journey in the reverse. Journey in the reverse. Confirmation. Virgo, it's time. You are powerful. So much more powerful than you even realize. It's time to tap in, baby. It's like, <laughs> the energy I'm feeling is like, they're not going to allow you to play small anymore. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, it's time, baby. It's time. It's time to level up. Archangels, what do you have for Virgo, please? Virgo. 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 What do you have to say to Virgo? make it up change your life a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination embrace the opportunities that change brings thank you for the confirmation straight from the archangels it's time virgo it's time to change your life period and then beautiful we have the two of Raphael two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirits don't give up on those you love like I said in the beginning I do feel that there's someone around you Virgo who wants to help you where is it this could be a romantic partner it doesn't have to be just someone that you really relate with someone who you connect with on a deep level this could be, you know, I'm getting business partnership from this. Maybe someone wants to go into business with you. They have an idea and they think that you two should do it together. Or just someone who wants to help you, a kindred spirit. Let them help you, Virgo. Connect with them. Don't give up on those you love. Together you can create something amazing. Is what I'm getting. Woo! Love that. And look, bottom of the deck. Time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do yeah you know what you need to do virgo you know don't you <laughs> you know let's do it baby let's do it april 2023 let's let's virgo what's the immunology advice please for virgo virgo Virgo, show the world the real you, baby. It's your time to shine. It's time. No more playing small. Mm -hmm. We have your hard work is paying off. If you, Virgo, if you put in the work, that's all you need to do. Put in the work towards feeling good and towards focusing on what you want to manifest. It will pay off. Trust me, it will change your life. Are you hearing this? Mm. Work through your fears. Yeah. Like I said, don't fear the unknown. Don't fear that you're not good enough, that you're not capable. Come on, please. Please. You're Virgo. You can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Communication is key. Talk about how you're feeling, right? If you've got these fears, talk to someone. Maybe find someone who's done what it is that you're trying to do. 
or you know just someone that you trust and talk about it don't run from it yeah whatever this is virgo you're being called it's it's like virgo to the stage please <laughs> and there's no running from it it's time baby it's time let's get some love messages for you what's the vibe what's the energy in love for virgo please Virgo. Mm. Virgo. 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 Wow, look, bottom of the deck, I can't make it up. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Even in the love messages, this wants to come out. <laughs> so this supportive person could be a love interest for you. Doesn't have to be, but that message wanted to show itself again for you. Okay, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so as I said, we don't want to close our minds off. We want to be open to whatever the universe wants to bring, right? It might not be your usual type. Keep an eye out. Feel your way in connections rather than your, you know, rigid list of this is what I want in a person. How does it feel? How does the person make you feel? We then have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And then we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Do you see? So this could be somebody that you've recently met. It's giving new for some of you. Okay, honeymoon period. Let things unfold the way that they're supposed to with this. And keep an open mind. Be open-minded about this. Be open to different types of people. Different types of energy yeah beautiful okay what else please for virgo virgo thank you <laughs> interesting we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. But I'm feeling intuitively this is not about the person. I feel like this message, Virgo, is talking about your own mind. Like, pay attention to the red flags. Do you have old beliefs popping up in this connection? Yeah, because this has come out again at the bottom of the deck. I saw it before. Separation in the reverse. And then calling in your soulmate check yourself before you wreck yourself i don't know why i'm hearing that <laughs> check yourself before you wreck yourself pay attention to your own red flags don't self-sabotage <laughs> yeah there's this energy virgo of don't don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone don't go back in terms of your mindset don't allow old triggers to sabotage the beautiful things that are coming in towards you in the present moment there's an amazing opportunity coming into you for some of you that's in love for others of you it's in business career money finance whatever you get yourself to a place where you are ready to receive this amazing blessing whatever it is for you meditate listen to your affirmations visualize how you want to feel in the future Think about what you want to manifest, but mostly the feeling that you want to feel when it manifests. Take the action that you can take towards that goal. Stay open to how the universe wants to deliver it to you, including in your love life, and watch the blessings just rain down into your life. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this helps. Please like the video and subscribe. And until your next reading, I wish you a beautiful month ahead. Bye.